Oh, indeed. One more for the road. DCI's final road game of the 2011 season. And why not smile? Thinking about the playoffs. In a defensive midfield role tonight. Yeah, and that's the big change, Dave. Obviously, across the back again, Ben Olsen's got a McDonald's is back. So, I mean, oh, and he's telling his two DPs, including uh, Hasley with uh, with 10 goals, second leading goal scorer for them. Camille, obviously, 11. They did respond with a 3 0 win over Real Salt Lake. Whitecaps FC in the white, DC United in the black. It was the legendary basketball coach as Rochelle with a touch on the ball. We'll put it back to Demerit. Some big wins on the road for this team as Thornton touching it centrally to Kofi. Wide to Harvey. Harvey a chance to swing this one in and right away United is challenged. It's in the net. A goal. United with Camilo scoring for Whitecaps FC and United is behind. Changes payoff, Dave. Jordan Harvey being pushed in the left side of midfield, who serves a good ball. And then the center backs lose track of Camilo at that second post. So again, the initial marking, not staying with runners, being too late, is a history that DC United has shown in their last two games. Easy goals. Raise it for the hard. Brett Schneider's in the middle. There's the support from Kitchen. Kitchen! Christian is in his rookie year at Akron scored some goals from from distance, uh, David, and he can strike the ball from from there a little bit better. And there's the hard trying to deal with Jeff Brodsky. Camilo, long pass, back to Camilo. Hamid and ricochets off. McDonald cleans up. A throw in Vancouver. Now that had some juice on it, David. Dipped it, swirled a little bit, and. and Bill Amid probably makes the right decision, not trying to catch that one. He'll dip just in front of Hamid, and on that service again, Dave, it sometimes picks up steam and sometimes slows down a little bit. Well, bad for Camilo. Camilo trying to create again. This time, not as much power, and Hamid able to control it. But right away, Camilo, like the first half started, gets involved. Jordan Harvey. Shaw, the overlap, this is well done, Long Tan, it's in the net, it's in the net, Long Tan has scored his first MLS goal. Uh, I mean, this is almost a repeat day from the first goal, it's, it's for a shot right now, again, not Jordan Harvey, but as you can see again, the good ball moving, the overlapping run, pretty decent marking, but still not good enough for Woolert, allowing Long Tan to get that second goal from a very similar position that Camilo scored in the first half, also about 40 or 45 seconds in, Dave. Again, this is just a very uninspired performance by DC United. You cannot and then Charlie Davies, you know, that mix as well. You, you potentially don't have five or six starters that you envision to be starters at the start of the season on the pitch right now. Well, this is the hard. Working hard to get that cross off. And now trying to get that shot off. Its mother was Stephen King. Now from distance, Birch, and he forces Cannon to make a lunge. Anytime they their service and Demerit does a great job, by the way, blocking this ball on Stephen King that just just gets a little bit out of Stephen King's reach right there and allows Demerit to make up ground and then block tackle the ball out of danger. And on Birch again trying from distance. I mean, he, he strikes a great ball. I think those are opportunities for DC United. Aggressive forward play with or without the ball. Lights this one in, and oh, it's in the net! McDonald has scored! Brandon McDonald! Just, his second goal in the air! You just called it, Dave. Set piece is at a premium for them. Great ball in by Caranta, who could create that set piece, and then the delivery is just awesome. And then, you know, it's a very easy flick on, quite frankly, and they need to get in those positions more often, Dave, in order for them to be successful. McDonald peels away from the merit, another body comes in there. Wasn't too happy about that foul at that particular juncture of the game. Look out again. Osley. That's a good ball for Kalfan. He takes the shot. 
Yeah, Kalfong scored a very similar goal day, the third goal against Real Salt Lake as well. He's found his, his stride for, for this team after not getting a lot of playing time. Hasley again, he can do so many things, Dave, provide service and, and finish. And this time he plays that just a little well timed ball with the right pace so Kalfong can just wind it up. Jordan Harvey for Osley. Osley going to work with that left foot right into Hamid's trap. Uh, you, you don't mind this game opening up a little bit, Dave, uh, with the chance that Vancouver might score again in the counter. That's what Hasley does so well. Get on that left foot and, and just strikes it, but this time straight at Bill Amit. Maybe off sides, maybe not. Ward extends him up a little bit, but he still gets a little step on him. But when this game opens up, it, it will favor D.C. again to, to get maybe some chances as well. Josh Wolf, half chance. Mark Birch, full chance. Ricochets it. Oh, that was the kind of redirected ball that often does find a home in the net. But not that time. No, it, it doesn't. It starts again with, with service, Dave. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anytime you put a ball in the box, things will happen. A half chance falls for, for Birch, and then just deflect the ball. Not a corner for DC United. That ratio is up right now. And all of a sudden, they're putting the pressure on, on the home team. So Joe Cannon, Vancouver, have to defend. But there's Wolf. Doesn't get a full crack on it. But here comes Birch. And that, oh, that's a that's a handball, by the way. Handball, by the way. Birch, I was wondering what Birch, uh, there you see yes. Birch's right hand yes. goes up right that's away. That's a handball. That is, uh, that is a handball, Dave. Nahar again, Peranta. Peranta! Can it! Forced to cover his goal. Now, I, I really like, again, the, the ball movement now, Dave, and, and then eventually, again, the service by... Andy Nahar and Caranta just can't get enough juice in that one. Ah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Santino Caranta's been aggressive, and he's, he's been... Oh. Fans are waiting for the final whistle, and the fans have received what they wanted. The final whistle, two goals from the home team, and three points.